In this video, we are going to talk about some of the frequently asked questions about the ICR, SRF and JRF exam with a new team member of Food Tech Simplified who has qualified both the exams from Food Technology. Hey, how are you doing today? Welcome back to the channel. This is Arib Irshad and you are watching Food Tech Simplified where I make simple and easy to understand lectures, videos and tutorials, exam guidance as well for the students of food science and technology. So if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon as well so that you don't miss my upcoming videos. So today we have a new team member of Food Tech Simplified who is also dedicated to the idea of adding value to the lives of students like you. She has recently completed her master's from GB Pant University Pantnagar. She also has her own blog with the name of Nude Label and now she is also an editor on foodtechsimplified.com. I am so pumped up today to welcome in front of you Vijaya Parmar. Thanks for having me on the channel Areeb. Let's get started with the Q&A. Alright, so what is ICR, SRF or JRF exam? What is the purpose of this examination? Okay, ICR, JRF, SRF are annually conducted by ICAR for admission in post-graduation degrees particularly belonging to agriculture and allied sciences. For ICAR JRF, uh, one has to complete his or her bachelor to seek admission in master's degree. And if after master's you are interested in uh, postgraduate degree, uh, that is your PhD, then you can write ICAR SRF. Okay, so what is the eligibility criteria of this exam? Who is eligible to apply? For the eligibility, the candidate must have completed his or her bachelor and master's degree from ICAR accredited university in the respective field in which he is going to appear for the examination. Also, uh, these universities, you can check them out on the ICAR website and you can choose one for yourself uh, based on the yearly rankings that is also given on the ICR website so you can check them out. Also the bachelor degree must be completed in a four year term course program and not less except for the veterinary sciences because there the uh, minimum course should be of five years. Okay so let's assume that uh, someone applied for this exam and actually qualified for this exam. Now what is the benefit of qualifying this particular exam? Well I think fellowship. Okay, jokes apart, getting into higher education actually opens many doors for you both in private and uh, you know government sector. Like food analyst requires you to have master's degree and to pursue a career in education services uh, like uh, by being assistant professor and uh, you know working as a scientist through uh, agriculture research services one must have a PhD. Could you please also tell some of the general rules like what is the date of the examination or the month of this examination and uh, what is, is this examination online or offline? A lot of students have that doubt and also uh, whether this examination is MCQ based that, that is multiple choice questions or this uh, examination will have some subjective questions as well. Okay, when I sat for JRF, I wrote the examination in offline fashion. Although now both SRF and JRF are held online and uh, generally both exams fall on um, adjacent dates in the month of June and July. Okay, coming to the pattern which is objective for both SRF and JRF, although the difficulty level is slightly increases in SRF which is also expected. Okay, also JRF only includes your subject matter. However, in the case of SRF, there are 20 questions belonging to general awareness which is quite related to agriculture and then comes your uh, subject matter questions. Okay, so if a student is preparing for this exam, uh, so what, what is the range or what, is, what are the marks that he or she should aim for? Starting with the JRF, I will say a score of 400 plus would be good enough to get a JRF seat and you can get uh, NTS seat uh, within the range of 350 to 400. Okay, similarly for SRF, a score around 350 plus would be good enough to land you in top four spots. Would you like to suggest any kind of books or study material to refer from? Well, I don't think there is only one way to achieve this, but uh, I'll share mine, which is particularly for food technology. Uh, I was greatly dependent on my college notes. Uh, and I also practiced a lot of objective questions from Sanjeev sir's objective food science. And for SRF particularly, I practiced 
Dairy Questions from uh, Food Science and Technology by Deepak Mudgil. And uh, adding to that, uh, reading daily newspapers helped me to answer, you know, 15 out of 20 questions, which was in general awareness. All right. So let's say if I qualify the ICR, SRF or JRF exam, so will I get any kind of scholarship if I qualify for the exam? And apart from that, uh, will I get a job easily if I qualify ICR, SRF or JRF exam? Yes, we do get scholarship and for JRF, it is around 12,500 per month and for SRF, it is 31,000 per month in first two years and then 35,000 per month in the final year. Well, honestly, I do not know about the job, but these achievements are always desirable whenever you go for interviews, it gives you an extra edge and uh, they're always considered you know in private and government services whenever you go for a job or something so yeah all right thanks a lot once again vijay for adding value to the lives of students uh, who are watching this video right now and if you have not subscribed to the channel make sure you have subscribed and make sure you have hit the bell icon as well if you have any kind of doubt let us know down in the comments we will be happy to help you we will be happy to reply each one of you i will see you next time class dismissed